Good morning, students. I'm Alexander with your Morning News Live broadcast. Today is Monday, August 26th, day five. Please stand for prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Father in heaven, how we love you. Each day we pray, and each day we thank you for our continual blessings. But every day, so many other things distract us from you. As we begin this week anew, we humbly pray that our eyes stay fixed on you. Help us to realize and remember that you are the way, the truth, and the life. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And now for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. Once again, changes have been made to your grid schedules. Please get a copy of your new schedule on deadline. School photo retakes and absentees. House of Photography will be here tomorrow morning in the Kamaaina Kids Room down in Marion Hall. They will be taking ID pictures of students, faculty, and staff who were absent from or did not take their pictures on orientation day, and those that want to retake their pictures. The time for picture taking will be at 8 to 8.30 a.m. and at 9.30 to 11.30 a.m. Order forms for picture packets will be available in the front office and in the elementary school. Attention elementary, grades five and six. Please stay on the court side of the ASC in front of the library while you are on the upper campus. Sixth, seventh, and eighth graders, please do not leave anything on the ground by the lockers by Marion Hall. Also, do not sit on the chair or touch the lockers near the adult daycare center. All students of Marion Hall, please let your parents know that there is no drop off or pick up in the adult care center circle. <coughs> Attention junior high and high school. Your t-shirt designs will be voted on today during homeroom. For students interested in becoming an admissions recruiter slash tour guide, applications are available on Edline and in the admissions office. Please see Ms. Faith in room 102 for more information. Are you really, really, really interested in going to Europe? For your viewing pleasure and your information, we have a new slideshow by Ms. Severson, voiced by Dylan Sumita. In 2014, St. Francis School is taking group to London, Paris, Switzerland, Assisi, Pisa, Florence, and Rome for a social study credit. Ms. Searson is very excited that St. Francis School is able to offer this wonderful experience to our students. She truly believes that the benefits of international travel for young learners are endless. The students will have the opportunity to visit places they have learned about in the classroom discover academic and personal interests, and create lifelong memories. An international educational experience stands out on a college application and helps prepare your child to become a global citizen. If you're interested, please stop by room 207 to pick up hard copy information and registration to present to your parents. All students from the high school are invited. I brought the one. Seniors, just a reminder, please email your senior code and your baby picture to 
SFS Yearbook 2014 at gmail.com. Your quote must be 25 words or less. Please make sure your full name is on the subject line of the email. Quotes and pictures are due by September 6, 2013. Fifth and sixth graders who are interested in playing CSL volleyball, please let your home teacher or Ms. Tabali know. It will be a fun and exciting year. Congratulations to our varsity football team. We got our first victory as a varsity football team as they defeated Drumheller High School of Alberta, Canada with the score of 42 to 14. Our junior quarterback, Raina Mamiya, led the way, scoring tw all 22 of the Saints' points in the first half with two rushing touchdowns, a 60-yard punt return, and a pair of two-point conversions. Our record in the preseason finishes at 1-1, one and, one, and we open our regular season with an ILH game on August 30th against Iolani at Kozuki Stadium at, three at Iolani School. Today we celebrate National Dog Day. National Dog Day has two goals, to honor dogs and to rescue dogs from homelessness and, and abuse. It's an opportunity for us to recognize and appreciate the value and importance of dogs in our lives. If you know of or see a dog that needs help, be sure to contact the Hawaiian Humane Society to report a homeless or abused dog in your neighborhood. And if you have a furry friend at home, please be sure to give him an extra hug and a special treat today. They really are man's best friend. And that's our morning news. I'm Alexander. Have a great week and have a great day in the spirit of joy.